Well, hello everybody. My name is Scott. For today's talk, we're going to be talking about the amazing benefit of a good posture. Well, has anybody ever told you to stand up straight or scold you for slouching when you're working or when you're just standing? Comments like that might be annoying for sure, but they're not wrong at all. <clears throat> well, your posture, the way you hold your body when you're sitting or standing, is the foundation for every movement your body makes and can determine how well your body adapts to the stretches. If your posture isn't optimal, your muscles have to work harder to keep you upright and balanced. Some muscles will become tight and inflexible, others will be inhibited. Over time, these dysfunctional adaptations will impair your body's ability to deal with the forces on it. So, there's a lot of amazing reasons on why should you keep your posture good. But it's getting harder to keep a good posture these days. Sitting in an awkward position for a long time can promote a poor posture. Again, so can using computers or mobile devices, which encourage you to look downward. And many studies suggest that on average, posture is getting worse day by day. So what does a good posture look like? Well, when you look at the spine from the front and the back, all 33 vertebrae should appear stuck in a straight line. Just straight. From the side, the spine should have three curves. One at your neck, one at your shoulders, and one at the small of your back. You are born with this S-shaped spines. The other curves usually develop by 12 to 80 months. Yeah, 80 months as a muscle stretches. So these curves help us stay upright and absorb the stress from activities like walking or jumping. If they are aligned properly, when you stand up, you should be able to draw a tall straight line from a point just in front of your shoulders to behind your hip to the front of your knee and to a few inches in front of your ankle. This keeps your center of gravity directly over your base of support. And that is the ultimate posture that everybody needs to have. Well, if you are sitting and you want to have a good posture, then what could it look like? Well, when you're sitting, your neck should be vertical, not tilted forward or low down like this. Your neck should be vertical and straight. Your shoulders should be relaxed. It should go up like this. It should be relaxed and with your arm close to your trunk. Your knees should be at the right angle or your feet flat on the floor. Well, you understand that? It's like the knee is at the ultimate right angle with the feet flat on the floor. But what if your posture isn't that great? Try to redesign your environment. Maybe if you're a worker who always stays on these kinds of devices, then try to adjust your screen so it's at or slightly below eye level so that your neck doesn't have to always slouch down like this. Make sure all parts of your bodies are supported. Like maybe your elbows and wrists, you could maybe use it. Aerodynamics aids if you need to. Try sleeping on your side with your neck supported and with a pillow within your legs. So when you're sleeping, try to choose a pillow that is enough for your neck. And there's a pillow between your leg. Wear shoes with low heel and good arch parts. I know that high heels is something so appealing to women, but wear low heel shoes will probably help your posture a lot. And use a headset for phone calls. It's also not just enough to just stand right there with a good posture. When you move, move smartly. In fact, being just still.
for a long period with good posture. Give me worse with than regular movement with bad posture. Backpack should be in contact with your back and carry symmetrically with both two packs. And keep anything you carry close to your body. If you sit a lot, then try to get up and move around on occasions. Like maybe get up every 10 or 20 minutes to take some water to drink using your muscles to keep them strong enough to support you effectively well try to use your muscles and your joints as much as you can because probably you doesn't want it to be totally unflexible for the future well that's all today's talk thank you for listening and goodbye